happy 4th of July. How, how American is it to have uh, 4th of July fall on a Wednesday? We have Jurgen Munster back as our happy who. All the cool stuff happens on Wednesdays. Well, know, I, I always love Wednesdays. The last time we were here, we forgot to announce June 6th was also D-Day. Shame on me. The invasion of Normandy, World War II. Who cares? Today's the 4th of July. I just wanted to bring that up and I forgot. Well, too bad. <laughs> Today's 4th of July and it is no future's birthday. And I believe <laughs> someone else's birthday is again. DJ today. Metal Mish. Yes, Metal Mish's birthday. Hey, Rue, I just wanted to say, I had my friend Lola stop by uh, going to her party on Monday night. Maybe we could have her pop in for a minute and wave to the cameras. We're doing an event called Pussy and Cunty. Nice. That lips this that, Monday. That sounds good. Yes, it's Lola, Nava, and Louisa Bradshaw. Do you know them? I will when she comes in. She's here. They're around. Awesome. So they have to come say hello. Cool, cool. Of course. The more the merrier. Great. So Imagine today is National Barbecue Sparrows Day. So we have barbecue chips for everyone when they share some dirt about their lives. We like nice. To, we like to give back to anyone who shares skeletons with us because, you know, that's what we're about. But today, a lot of interesting things on this full July 4th day. It is the day that the famed Harry Potter author, J.K. Rowling, left her agent, ending their 13-year relationship. She left her agent one year ago today. She was like, thank you, goodbye. Now she's writing adult books or something, right? Is she? Well, she's writing a book that's more adult-oriented. So she can use those kids again? I do. As adults? Uh, yeah, I don't think that's why. Just, it's not like it's any schlong stuff in the ticket like adult Why they like that? Like Did he do that on Broadway? A murder story or something. Not like adult pornography. I'm an adult, like, you know. Like not YA like, books? Like I like YA books. John Grisham's The Rainmaker. No kids would want to watch that, kind of. Uh, well, I don't, I, don't, I don't think it matters. Oh, my God. Oh, what There's happened? so much equipment up here. Well, you know, we, 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 like, we like sardines on our show. Enjoy so this. it is the day also that Two Live Crew released Band in the USA. And the lyrics quote Star Spangled Banner and Gettysburg Address. No, that's awesome. Well, yeah. And um, Two Live Crew, uh, they were, they're awesome. Don't they? Those guys are great. Hell yeah. Love it. Love, I love it. I know. John Phillips, the rocker of the Mama and Papas, went, go, went had a liver transplant on this day. And um, we all know where that went. But, like, it's interesting because he's in the air. I almost feel like he's a permanent angel. And that's a whole other story that I'm not going to talk about right now. But it's also the day that Hotmail... The first free internet email began service on this day in history. I've been paying for that shit all along. You dumbass. Fuck. Hot suckers. You are. Uh, today is the day that 14-year-old actress Drew Barrymore attempted suicide. Whoa. What would have happened? We wouldn't have had flower power movies and, uh, you know, the reuniting of Charlie's Angels and... Or Tom Green. Well, his five I mean, minutes with Drew Barrymore, right? What does this say about Alice in Wonderland? Is this the day she fell into the hole? Yes, it is. Yes. How'd you know that? You're it's a good reader. Alice. Yeah, where'd you see it? I don't know. I was just making it up. Is it on there? No, it, it is, is on there. there. It is on there. First edition of Alice in Wonderland is published in 1865. On this day. And that had nothing to do with Fourth of July in America. Because it's English. That's, That's right. The day. I know. I kind of wear this as my 4th of July, because it is red, white, and blue, and, um, you know, if it wasn't for England, there wouldn't be the American flag. Do you either. think that there would be some sort of British attack on America on no. 4th of July? You think no. they're still bitter? No. Okay, you sure? I, I, I think Thanksgiving is enough. They make fun of us for doing Do that. Do they? Holiday. Okay. Yeah. Give Peace a Chance by the Plastic Ono Band was released in the UK on this day. Now, do you think that was the, uh, Yoko's way of saying, ha ha, America. Maybe. Yeah. I think so. I think everybody likes to say, ha ha, America. You do? Absolutely. It is a ha ha kind of town. <laughs> I feel ha ha Casey uh, his American Top 40 debuted in LA Who radio. Is this? Casey Kasem? The Did guy is, wait, Casey, not, not the one, not Dick Clark. Not the voice that's going to be there. That guy? Don't want to charge all the voices. Casey no. Kasem, he did the top 40. Like, Who am I thinking of? It started on July 4th. The I, DJ, the radio DJ. Yeah. He also did Scooby-Doo. He did Shaggy's voice. Like, Zoli so School, and he did two. He might. <laughs> that was him. That's Casey Kasem. Yeah. He's got kind of got that high. 
I'm kind of saying like that kind of voice. You could be a Casey Kasem. Yeah, you yeah, can Scooby Dooby. Dooby. You're Mary Casey Kasem. Oh yeah. It's the day that the song "America the Beautiful" was published by someone named Kathy Bates. How Very cool. Is that? I love that. But it was totally a different one. It wasn't the foosball one. It wasn't her. Foosball uh, is the devil, Bobby. The Beach Boys, I Get Around, hit number one on this day. That's always a fun thing. It's, it's a very Beach Boys day. It sounds very itchy, I Get Around. I know. Um, the Statue of Liberty was presented to the U.S. <coughs> in Paris Woo! on this day. Statue of Liberty is 1884. We salute you. Shall we? Yes, she's very cool. Booker T. Washington established Tuskegee Institute in Alabama on this day. I once had a professor in school. She was the first woman doctor from Tuskegee University. That was fucked up what happened to the She did not like me, that teacher. Dr. Fry. Oh my God, she scared me. But <laughs> she did. But she was very, very cool. I mean, she always would say, I'm the first woman to get a doctorate from Tuskegee University. Nice. I yeah, know, it's pretty cool. Henry David Thoreau moved into his shack on Walden Pond on this day. Yeah. Would you I don't know, know who that is, but all I you can think of is Bob Shack. Is? You don't know is who that is. Is that the guy from the B 52s? No, no do you, know, you don't know who Thoreau is? Who? He's like one of the most like Poet. known poets of our country. Oh, I don't know shit. I'm you sorry. don't. That's okay. We won't. We won't hold it against you. I like you. The sports. It's really fine. I don't really care. <laughs> it's you like sports? Do you, are you do. watching Wimbledon? No. You don't watch <laughs> it. Uh, a lot of Wimbledon stuff. <laughs> football is today. And stuff. Yeah. Well, football's not happening now. Silly. That's not. But In my uh, brain, it is. Buffalo Bill Cody presented the first Wild West show. On this day. That I know who Bill is. You do? Of course. Who is he? He's the guy from Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck me. That guy. You know? Oh. Look, he talks his little thing. Are we on camera? Yes. Goodbye. Today oh, is the day. If you, you do know this one. Bill is. The first fire court, fire courts, fireworks ever <laughs> were on this day. Does that make sense to you? The first fireworks ever? Well, yeah. Look how they invented that. The shit. first fireworks are held at Cleveland Stadium on this day. That's just Cleveland. And the first Chinese Independence Day, day celebration ever on July 4th. Can you name the year? 1776. Oh, I was hoping you would get that. Yes, you're History right. is my thing. You're right. Really? Yes, I'm a big historian. So when was the bicentennial? 200 years after 1776. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever yeah. number that is. Exactly. 1776 plus 200. Yeah. Yeah. I was still floating around in my dad's balls. Oh, <laughs> you're right. I was. I know. That's a good way to I'm look at it. I'm an 80s baby. It. Oh, you're good. That's, the radio love, that's why you love Love Shack. I came out the same day that that song came out. Love Shack? Like a picture. Da, 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 da. Video kill the radio. You were born on that day? Like around the time. That was not the 80s. That was... Oh, well, uh, that was the, the 70s. 80s. But that was like the first big thing for MTV. Yeah, but, yeah. but that song was from the 70s. Word, maybe I am too. So you don't know about that. But uh, it is birthdays today. It is, as I said, our no future. It is Metal Mish's birthday. It's, speaking of England, John Waite's birthday. Do you yeah. remember that? Missing you. Were you, you weren't born yet, Is that you? Tom Waite's brother? No, it's not. <laughs> but, uh, I'm just being a smart mouth. It's okay. I don't really care. Uh, it, it's also birthdays. It is um, Geraldo Rivera's birthday. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I want, I, Roadmaps. I want. He, I once. <laughs> I once went with a friend to go to sit in the audience of Geraldo's show, and they didn't let us in. They said we weren't dressed Middle America enough. They wouldn't let us in to sit in the freaking audience. We were. We weren't even dressed up. We were just. We had free tickets. He sucks. Morton yeah. Downey Jr. was well, the man. What about her all, though? Oh, like, Morton. Morton. He was cool. Morton Downey. It, Morton. Uh, he was our Bill Withers' birthday. Now, he is... I love Bill Withers. Nick to Nick to who is he? You don't know who Bill, Bill Withers is? Yeah, he's like the old He's got the best Jump songs in the world. You <laughs> Gina Lola Brigida's birthday. Oh, who? Uh, Gina Lola Brigida. What? It's Neil Simon's birthday. Nice. Leona Helmsley's birthday. Ooh. You know who she is? I think she, I don't know, didn't she try to ban pot? Did she? I don't know, I'm just guessing. No, That's a stab in the dark. She all her zillions of dollars to her dog. 
Oh! Yeah. No, no, They're at the Helmsley no. building. They made that building all gold on top in New York City. Um, Ann Landers, cool birthdays today. Mitch Miller, do you know who Mitch Miller is? Uh, I used to know everybody. I'm batting like a thousand today, it's huh? It's Louis Armstrong's birthday. You know who he is? But I heard that his birthday was really August 4th, and they switched it to July 4th for some reason. Because he was Louis Armstrong. And Louis B. Mayer, you know who that is? MGM Studios. Louis B. Mayer. He was like the man that made Hollywood what it is today. And um, Angels in the Room. People who are now with us that are no longer in this form. Barry White passed away on this day. So we are really happy that he is with us today. I love Barry White. Also, James Monroe. This is so funny. Well, it's not funny, but James Monroe, the fifth president of the United States, died on this day. But so did John Adams, the second president of the USA, died on this day. And so did Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, died on this day. So I don't think it's a good idea to be president on the 4th of July. It's, your odds of dying are pretty steep. They, they died after their term, so, correct? Yes, they did, but, but they all died on this day. Something funny, did you, you know You think they that? partied too hard? You want to know something crazy? I uh, yeah. believe it was... It might have been, right? Andrew Jackson, they, you know, when they had a dispute with the Native Americans, they slaughtered a certain tribe or, or a certain... Uh, uh, area and there, some of the doctors put a curse so to say on every 20 years we lose a you know the figure of the father of our country and if you start from Abe Lincoln's assassination every 20 years there's been a president but it stopped at Reagan it stopped at JFK that has died in office JFK died in office every 20 years it stopped at Reagan that's what I mean J JFK was the last one from 1860 uh, uh, uh. to 1960 every 20 years we lost the president we lost Starfield, we lost the, what's the Yeah, it was always with a double O, only when they, were, when they were elected on an O-O. They said that was a curse that was put on this country, and every 20 years we have someone in it. it well, that has out. nothing to do with the president's dying on July 4th. No, but it's all dead presidents, baby. And yes, it is. Yeah. All right, <laughs> and, and we're going to take a break, and we're going to come back with our little friends from Mexico, because... We are we are friends of the oats now. There's friends from oh okay and Great. and and we are They're from Mexico. Mexico. That's awesome. They are from Mexico. So nice. They are celebrating their first Fourth of July, Woo! and uh, Woo! we'll be right back on this Monday of Ru. 